Hi and welcome. This is Arshna here with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, I welcome you, dears, and to all my beautiful existing subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for your love, your continued support, your money donations, and very, very positive, loving comments coming my way. Thank you so very much. I want to begin with that heartfelt appreciation and. Um, start our reading for today so what i am doing is bringing forth a reading for us to look at the energies that are opening up in this upcoming week uh, in uh, different areas of your life your money your finances your travel you within yourself your spiritual energy your friends and love and romance your work and your home front um, let's begin let's first look at the overall energy message from source and how to be in this cosmic dance. Communicate with spirit. Oh, how beautiful. Card number 28. So number 28 is going to be uh, something that is um, important. Uh, it may be something that's synchronistic. Uh, it may be your birthday. It may be a number that you see repeatedly. But I do feel 28. And also the numbers 2, 8, and 10 are going to be prominent especially in this week and this is immediately <laughs> saying that you are communing with spirit and as you commune with spirit and open yourself up to give and receive open yourself up to be in the flow you begin to manifest and magnetize whatever it is that your highest and your greatest potential and your destiny is beautiful energy to begin with let us see what goes in alignment with that. Let's see. What do we have? We have the inner warrior. We have the warrior spirit coming through. Okay. And uh, this speaks of is a spiritual warrior overcoming any sort of negativity, overcoming any sort of challenges with grace, uh, communing with spirit and bringing forth that energy. Uh, down uh, is the energy of a warrior. A warrior is someone who protects what they believe in and doesn't give up when the going gets tough. So continue to uh, focus the energy in this week on the self and communicating with spirit, taking time out for meditation. Actually, having said that, let's begin with the self and uh, leisure because I want to see what is the energy that's opening up for everybody in the self, spiritual energy. Let's look at the spiritual energy for the week. What are we working with? Thank you. Newness, passion, passion projects. Okay. Uh, going forth, communing with spirit. And I do feel that in this week, you're going to begin something new. Okay. It could be uh, something within the own self, like, you know, you want to start a new health regimen, you begin a new project, you begin a new job, you begin a, a new role, uh, you begin something new in uh, your home front, uh, you begin some sort of an investment project, something new or a new friendship, something new is on the horizon here, something new that is going to begin a new cycle, I feel. And this new cycle and this new energy that I'm feeling here in this week is something that your heart and your soul is guiding you towards. Let's take an energy from here to see what we're feeling and coming. Okay, hook and I got the fan. Okay. If you like getting another one, let's get this and the key. Okay, to me, let's see what the energy is feeling like is you've been a spiritual warrior. You've been communicating with spirit on this is what I've been wanting to experience. This is what I'm working on. I've been doing all the good work. I've been putting in the hard work. I'm letting go of negativity, dear angels, and it's still not manifesting. Uh, why is it taking so long? I do feel there are some hooks with people, emotional hooks or a certain way of thinking that has kept you, um, that has held you back. It could be something that you thought about yourself. It was something that uh, perhaps a relationship or perhaps a job or perhaps a certain way in which you were wanting to expand your company or start a new company or start something new. There's some hooks and you hold that key 
to blow over these. They are winds of change that I'm seeing with this fan energy. I'm seeing a fan here, okay? It's blowing cool winds. It's gonna blow away this energy of where you were feeling stuck, where you were feeling like I can't let go. You've been holding on too much for it. The key is coming. There is a key that you're being shown as you're communing with spirit, okay, in this week, as you're meditating. I do feel don't give up is one of the messages that I want to say, and that you have the key to this new beginning, this new way of being, this new you, okay? So that's a, that's a beautiful energy to begin with. So I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, which, which speaks of is fortune, positive, shifting of the karma, shifting of the wheel, of looking at things from a different perspective. That's the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Let's have a look at, with this I'm feeling like, let's check what's going on in your friend zone. What's going on with friends, collaborations in this week? Um, what is the energy surrounding that, angels, in this week? Thank you. So news, conversations. There's going to be some conversations, perhaps conversations about what you want to do in life. Uh, I do feel that friends are going to play an important role. Some of the friends are going to be your guiding source. These are the messages coming in from the spirit and the spirit is communicating to you through your friends or you are communicating with your friends because of, the, because of your communication with spirit. So for, for, it goes both ways. I'm feeling both ways. That if there's some area that you're feeling like I'm stuck and I don't know how to, uh, how to unhook myself from uh, these situations, there's going to be some help. There's going to be some conversations that take place in this week. And friends and, and people that you can rely on, people that you can trust are going to help you and guide you. That's one. Second is because you have your direct communication and the sword of truth is up in heaven. So with this communication with spirit, you are communing with spirit quite a bit okay so you're getting a lot of the downloads and with that energy I feel like you're gonna know um, and you're gonna talk to friends about it on how you want to move both of these are forward facing they're facing towards I'm, I'm moving towards the north I'm moving towards my north node I'm moving towards my destiny and um, I have the passion I have this enthusiasm creative fire creative passion and also I've got these great ideas how do I move forward with that okay so this is more of an action this is just at the beginning stages, the pages, you know, you're enthusiastic about something. And now this one's like, okay, maturing up with ideas. Let's sift out the ideas. Let's see what's going to work. And um, they're going to help you. Let's see one more energy on the friends. What do I have? Okay, we got the spider web here. And in, in this case, it's feeling very positive energy for me. And it's feeling like we're all connected. This is the web of life, okay? This is the web. So you, so, so your friends are your soul family, are the people who are meant to, you are meant to impact and they're meant to impact. So um, be open. Be open to these connections and allow these connections to guide you. Okay, that's good. That's beautiful energy. I'm feeling that. Um, let's now look at, I feel like asking in the area of work. What's going on in the workplace in this week, angels? For the people. What is the energy they're working with, working through? Seven of Pentacles. All right, so where have I been investing my time? Do I want to begin something new? Let's take from here. For work. For work. What do I feel for work? Okay, let's see. I'm feeling this. I want to pull one more. Okay, thank you, angels. So what I'm seeing here is that for work in this week, it's going to be like, am I? is it time to harvest? H am I putting in in the right basket am i putting in all the eggs in the right basket okay these are my inspirational charms that i ordered okay so this is like basket of inspiration and upliftment okay this can be all in the other one but this is all of positive and um upliftment energy here okay so here in this case it is what are you putting in that basket of yours okay that's a question you have to ask yourself is this the workplace that you're aligned with okay or is this something new that your heart and soul is desiring commune with spirit meditate meditate on whether this is the place where you are wanting to be and how you can find whether this is the right place for you or not is to see 
what is the happiness level? Do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel like you can grow? Do you feel like you can be who you are? Or do you always have to walk on eggshells? Like you always have to uh, carry an umbrella to be protected from uh, unforeseen situations so that I'm always like protected. To me today, the umbrella is feeling like I'm trying to hide myself. I'm trying to protect myself. So the key becomes is do you always have to walk on eggshells to feel protected? Or is it some place where you can feel, look at the, these are to me today, these are feeling like polar energies this one is the energy of a bird and and this is a beautiful wreath filled with flowers which is of abundance of love of joy and happiness and and the circle always represents the harmony and everything that's possible coming to a full circle right and you're singing your soul song are you free where you are are you able to speak up freely is the question you have to ask are you able to be who you are does it really ring your bells when you're there or do you have to be in a sense of protection it's a question you have to ask yourself in your workspace in this week and this might be the energy that uh, you might be working with there may be an offer i'm seeing ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck there may be an offer you may be considering wanting to begin something new perhaps starting something new on your own right so this is these two are connected here now let's look at with this work what's going on with your money in your money front let's have a look at what's going on in the money in this week temperance needing to bring some sort of a balance in let's have a look are you overindulging in some place? Are you, um, let's see. Okay. Yes. So I am seeing fears surrounding money. Okay. I am seeing that in this week. And uh, perhaps you're feeling like whether this workplace is something which is in alignment with your own worth. This is also the, to me, the self is our section on how we are seeing ourselves. do we value ourselves? is the company that you're working for does it, it does it honor you okay the new place that you are investing your time and energy in your new project or your new um, entrepreneurship uh, there is a need for looking at um, uh, where you are investing your time what are you putting in that bowl okay I'm going to show you my bowl here what are you putting in that bowl is a question okay this is a mixture plethora of different energies in here what is the energy that you're aligning with okay what is the energy that you're aligning with is a question we're asking for in the money and also i do feel there is a need for some sort of a moderation uh in your spending habits in this week if you have been over uh, spending be honest with yourself try to bring that in balance this is also the energy of bringing things in balance and um uh, yes it is good to indulge it is good to um um you know honor our our senses but there's an uh, there is a fine line between honoring it and going into the over indulgence okay so if you are wishing to invest in the self and wishing to invest in uh, securing a future for yourself, then there has to be a balance that needs to come in. Okay. In oh, I'm just excited about it. And I'm just going to, you know, buy like 40 dresses or buy this home and do this and splurge. Um, money is a beautiful energy aligned with the energy of it being um, of abundance and also respecting money when you respect money money respects you back okay that's another message that's coming and also look at what are your fears surrounding money is money something to be always running after oh it's one buck short for you or is money flows in abundance it's a free flowing energy so stop um to uh, i'm feeling a devil energy here the devil energy is like okay traps it it traps it like in a cage don't trap money in a cage like this is something that um, needs to be protected this is something that needs to be done that so it becomes a uh, it becomes a limitation you're creating a friction between the energy money is just energy okay just the way love is energy money is just energy so how are you treating money Okay, so treat that with love. Okay, treat your fears. Look at the fears. I got the heart and the moon with the uh, temperance energy. So um, build upon what you have and uh, temper your spending habits in the week.
Okay, that's a message that's coming for you. Let's look at what's taking place in your family with your close connections. You know, your parents, your siblings, um, your close connections. Where you're perhaps sharing a family uh, home space or or not. Some of you may not be living with your families. However, we have close connections. Or not so close connections. You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, what's the energy in family in this week? <laughs> Sometimes my choice of words are weird. <laughs> okay, this is the energy I'm feeling. Ten of Wands. Okay, that's why I'm like shuffling and shuffling and shuffling and shuffling. Like, what is going on? That's what's going on is a lot of burdens. So I'm feeling like some of you are carrying a lot of burdens in your family. Um, or you're feeling overburdened with a family responsibilities. Let's get some more messages here before I say anything. Let's see what's taking place in family. All right. What do we need to scrutinize? Okay. Thank you. Let's have a look at it. So what I'm seeing here, and I'll show you. Seeing the glasses. I'm seeing an elephant here and the heartbeat with a stethoscope. Okay. What I'm feeling is it's important to now see what, what makes your heart beat. Okay. We're not getting into a science lesson. What I mean is, um, do you get angry and upset? What causes irritation? So this this is, is like start to view things. Okay, look at what is really your responsibility and what have you taken on? Or because someone sees you walk with like five of these wands and say, hey, you know what? Carry mine too. Yeah, you could do it. Yeah, you're doing these dishes. Why don't you do four more? Okay, you're already doing the laundry. Why don't you go ahead and uh, do this also? Or um, you're the one who's trying to make it work for everybody in the in the family. They're not getting along and, and you're taking on that stress energy because they're not getting along. Okay, that's their karma. Okay, so to me, this is feeling like it is time to connect to nature you're missing these beautiful deers you're missing this beautiful countryside you're missing all the beauty that's around you because you you can't even see it why because you're just so heavily burdened and if this is not you then there's someone in your family who's feeling very burdened so it's time to have a look at that and also know that yes you do have the courage like the elephant you do have the courage you do have the strength you do have the willpower to continue okay yes you do but what is it that you should continue with and what is it that you need to let go of time for a new journey time to start looking at things from a different perspective and look at things from a higher perspective communicate with spirit but one of the big messages with the Ten of Wands over here is uh, that this is coming to an end. Okay, after this, you just kind of will fall down and that will be the end. Okay, so this is coming to an end. Whatever this difficult situation, the heavy burdens is coming to an end. You're near, you, it's not you're nearly there. This is after the Ten, we're done. Okay, so that's kind of over, which is a very good thing. Okay. You've had the courage, you've had the resilience. This was part of your lesson. If this is you who had been overburdened and feeling overburdened in life. Um, and also this will deplete your self-value and self-worth. And that will impact your work. That's going to impact your money. Um, that sometimes will over will tend to overcompensate by spending more because we are feeling undervalued here and we want to make ourselves feel better. Okay, so now it's you're reevaluating that that self, and I feel like in this week, friends are going to play an important role. I do feel that, and you will move away from these difficult situations. There's the six of swords at the bottom. You are going to move away from things that were very um, emotionally unfulfilling. I do feel that that's going to be a, um, a release of these burdens that come in. Let's look at, because I think with this now, what's important is for me to look at your travel and leisure, like spending time for ourselves. And another message that's coming for some of you is just um, be patient. Okay, this is the energy of patience. Be patient, be loving. When things are not fully manifested, just because you're seeing the seven and you're wondering when is my basket going to be full with the seven, then comes the eight, comes the nine, comes the ten. You've, you, this is, look, look back, look at the tree. You've already planted like seven pentacles there. That's a lot of growth. 
So don't look at the cup as half empty. Okay, that's another message that's coming. This was for work. Okay, let's look at what's taking place for travel and leisure. I do feel you need some travel and leisure time in this week with this Ten of Wands energy here. Okay, Three of Pentacles, focusing again on work. Okay, focusing on work again. Let's have a look at what additional messages want to come through for travel and work. Travel and work. Hmm. Well, not travel and work. I meant to say travel. Oh, this one wants to come. Why was I trying to take it out? These two are kind of linked together. These, these two guys were linked together. So let's start with this message. The key in the heart. Okay. The key is in your heart. That was what was coming. And I was trying to untangle it to bring only one. And then I realized these two are meant to come together. And that is, it is time. You hold the key to your own heart. You, owe, you hold the key to your own happiness. Okay, communicate with spirit. Dear universe, dear God, um, help me find a way to unburden these aspects in my life. Help me find a way to be more patient. Help me find a way to see way forward. Help me find a way to one more time be excited about life, about this journey. Show me. Dear angels, show me the way. Okay, you are a warrior, and this shows with this elephant energy here. But what I am seeing in this travel is <laughs> I, I, I love this hat energy. Um, I mean, I know this one doesn't look like a hat that I would wear on ha in Hawaii. <laughs> But uh, we could all do a nice little vacation <laughs> by the beach, by the water, very healing, very loving, very, uh, very gentle. I do feel with this uh, infinity symbol coming in here and this energy of on this side, it shows eight. Again, I said eight was prominent. I said that before, right? Eight. And I feel uh, in this week, what's going to really help you is not just focus on um, money, Two messages if you've been overindulgent this would be the week uh, no travel no leisure we're holding back on that part of excessive spending and if you haven't been able to um, spend money on yourself and invest in yourself what they're saying is that to um, to rebuild yourself to rebuild your own energy it is time to take a break okay take the break away from the heat okay the sun can be crazy hot sometimes so wearing the hat to be in the shade take some time for r and r because your heart is the is the key to all manifestation is the key to this infinite abundance the infinite love the infinite joy that you can manifest and experience in your life I would definitely, this is the energy that I am feeling. I'm not feeling like hold on to the money that may be for some of you. Um, but for most of you, I'm feeling like, yes, it's time to find some uh, joy. Take that time out for some R&R, relax, um, wear a hat. And if you're in a place where you can um, enjoy the sun, the water, the outdoors, it's really going to recharge your batteries. It's going to help you. You're missing seeing all that beauty that's around you. Okay, because you're so focused uh, and you're so burdened and you can't, you know, even keep your back straight. So it's time to, um, uh, oh, another message. This is a new decks. So I love the way the imagery evokes um, different messages uh, through me. And that is, this person's holding up this uh, pentacle. To me, this feels like if these two pentacles were not there, this is like the ace of pentacles. What's important to me? Hey, guys, this is me. This is my work of art. I'm so proud of myself even though he's not looking like he's proud, but that's the energy where I feel like you need to, to re-energize your body, to re-energize this faith, to re-energize yourself, to re-energize and activate the fire element because with the overburden, you run out of steam. This is a person who's run out of steam and we need steam again, okay? We need steam to get our ships and our airplanes and our energy moving forward in any direction, right? So I do feel it's very, very important for you to take some time out for yourself, okay? Whew. All right, last two um, messages. One is in your home front. Let's have a look at what's taking place in your physicality, location, where you live. Energy for the home. 
four of pentacles hey okay, what do you value okay valuing your home what is it that you have in your home let me pull like a message from here first let's see this umbrella okay let's have a look at this one so what i'm feeling with this is it is time to uh, create your home as a sanctuary okay i do feel with this four of pentacles with this imagery i'm feeling like holding on to what you have Okay, beautifying what you already have. Okay, you don't need in this one in the workplace, we had the open umbrella and that it's like, hey, I'm, uh, you may feel like this is a safe and a protected place. Okay, but in this case, it is, uh, it is, you don't really need the protection. Okay, you have an umbrella, you've got the tool to protect, you've, you've got the tool to for unforeseen things. But right now, the angel guidance is that be free, be free with yourself and honor the space that um you are in okay are you being stingy in your in your home front okay perhaps that's 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 a place where uh you can beautify your place you can beautify and open that up with the temperance energy i'm really feeling that with the temperance energy here is to open yourself up and perhaps think about spending some money in your home front in creating and beautifying maybe a sacred space, a sacred corner. Um, and it doesn't always have to be a m about money. It can also be about you putting your energy in it. You know, you beautifying a garden and you spending your time and energy in it. And I think that's a great idea. I'm really feeling that uh, plants and um beautifying a garden if you have one because it's really going to uh help you to feel a little bit more free again there's a lot of plants and i do feel a strong connection with that is going to help you in your physical location to make you feel safe and secure because you need to feel safe and secure so that you can re-fire yourself up okay that's an energy coming through let's take a look at the final message here in love oh this became a long reading love and romance wow at the bottom of the deck we've got the page of pentacles and right here we have the queen of pentacles someone nurturing definitely someone nurturing oh my gosh that's so beautiful look at what i got I got these two songbirds here, two birds singing the same tunes in that heart, uh, nurturing one another, loving and caring for one another, honoring one another, seeing, seeing the whole picture, connected at the heart space, communing with spirit, communing with another person, a spiritual being. I do see that. And I feel like, um, I feel like over here, look at this one. What is this? What do we have? Oh, how beautiful. We've got the angel, Cupid's arrow. Cupid, we got Cupid. So what I'm feeling with this energy in your love and romance is if you are already connected with someone, there is a rekindling. There is a greater amount of nurturance and there is great uh, wisdom in uh, being your authentic self. I'm seeing a peacock here. Okay, so I'm seeing like... Uh, you showing your authentic colors and your authenticity is going to be the key in this week. And what's also going to be the key in this week to uh, magnetize to yourself. I do feel in your love situation, you are magnetizing a very uh, nurturing person. Doesn't matter if it's a female here. I could be a male too. But someone who is very nurturing, very authentic, sees your value. See, sees your value. And they feel like you guys are... Hmm, made for one another i do feel like this is like we're made for each other okay and uh there is a beginning of romance here oh how beautiful what a sweet energy i love that wow um someone definitely oh again i'm seeing a peacock here what do you know okay do you see that that was at the bottom of the deck here is that peacock someone's going to come in and um perhaps speak of their love make an offer um and they actually are feeling very strong they really want a strong commitment with you but they may come across as very youthful and something very mild like hey let's get out for a date let's just go someplace hang out may just be something very small and you would be like really is that what they feel but truly uh, uh behind that lightness is actually um they're feeling like pretty strong and stable like this is it this is it okay but they're going to come across as this that's what i'm feeling here 
Okay. Beautiful love energy coming in and coming through. So these have been the messages for all of you for this week. I hope these resonate with you. If you like them, share your comments and share with me how they help you because it helps others to uh, feel more aligned and feel connected. I do appreciate uh, each one of you. So thank you so much. I will talk to you soon. Bye.